Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this video is going to be pre-recorded, so by the time you see it, it will be June 25th, 2024. I have to go away, so um, I'm doing this ahead of time, and it's actually Sunday afternoon, and it's probably going to thunderstorm, so if you hear thunder, hopefully not, uh, that's why. But today we're going to take a break from the 12 by 12s and do this little, another little tab project. If you follow me, you know I like to explore things. So I came up with some ways to add tabs to pockets, and that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you that in a book in a minute. But first, uh, the usual show and tell, and thank yous. I excuse my prints. My prints have lines in them. Um, my printer needs cleaned. But this is Abstract Butterflies and this is on Etsy. Actually I meant to print two pages of that, but I forgot. And then I have Naturalists and this is fabulous. It's 45 pages and you can use these as background pages, cut them out, but you will have leaves, flowers, berries, text, all different fun little things to cut out and use in your journals. Naturalist Ephemera Paper Collection. Can't wait to use that either. It's going to make great, great pages, great envelopes, great tags. You can use it for Christmas, nature journals, fall, summer, spring. There's all kinds of 45 pages similar to this. Similar, but they're all a little different. So today, uh, this is what we're going to be making, some pockets. And you remember our My Beloved Tabs, which look how full that is. And these little pockets are made with handmade envelopes. So, a fun little thing that you can take outside with you to do if you desire. Um, I forgot I needed a card to put in this pocket. And probably the only thing I see is this that might fit. So you can just pop these on a little page, glue them three sides, pop a little tablet or something in the back. Very cute. Very simple. And what led to this, well two things led to this. Um, wanted to move on. We all have them. The paper stacks. Of, you know, this paper is pretty much about the same weight as copy paper. Um, this one is 180 sheets. I thought I only had four of these, but actually I had five. So when you cut these, I'm going to show you here. I cut mine all down to six by six, and then you'll have enough envelopes to make four little pockets. I took two matching sheets. One was to make my tabs, and one was to make my envelopes. And I'm going to give you the measurements for the tabs. And then I'm going to show you how to make the envelopes, envelope pockets. And then I'm going to show you how to make this one because it's a little different. 
So you'll get four pockets for any journal that are coordinating. If, that, if you want to follow my method, but of course you can use any single-sided paper. And that includes digitals. So I have a piece of this which is 6x6 six six, and I'm just going to show you real quick how I make my envelopes. And what I do, you can put a little fold here in the center crisscross, but I've been doing this because it's easier for me to see. And it helps me keep my envelopes nice and straight. So I just take one side, bring that to the crosshairs in the center, flip it, bring that to the crosshairs. And then this side I take up about, about a half an inch. Get on the line here. Yeah, I'd say about a half an inch. Make sure my point is at that pencil line. And then this side. I take down a little less, but I just want to make sure I cover that and line that up to my pencil line. I hear raindrops. Okay, and then when we do this, we are going to glue this side in to make our pocket and then we are going to fold this down just a second I like to keep my pencil line so that I can get this line straight and we're going to fold that in and glue it And then we're going to glue this in. So there's our little pocket, except it's not glued yet. So I have three already ready folded to go. And I'm just going to show you how I glue one. Use glue stick to glue this in. And okay, that's glued in. I could use glue stick to glue this down too, but in that little point. And then I'm going to assemble this pocket real quick. So there we go. So there's one. So then for our tabs, what I did is I took a coordinating sheet. Uh, let me start with this one. And this pretty much ends up being four inches. 
and this is four inches, four by three. So I folded this one in half. It's four by three. Let me make sure I have the right one. Yeah, four by three is that one. Put that on the front. This one is four by two and a half. And it's going to go on top. And then this one is four by one and a half. And okay, I'm gonna hide that. Okay, I'm gonna put this like this. So then, because I want these staggered in size, let me get one where I had three. I'm gonna go in about. Yeah, about a half an inch. Since they're all four to start, I'm just going to clip off the top two, half an inch. I think that'll work. <laughs> if not, I'll be measuring. <clears throat> I'm going to clip this one off a half an inch so it'll be three and a half. Yeah, that's what I did. Then I had a little piece. And then I'm going to clip this one off an inch and it will be three. And I'm taking it off this side because I don't want the don't want to lose the flower. Yeah. And then I had two little extra pieces to make some extra tabs. Okay. And I'm just going to use my corner punch for you, those of you who might not have a fancy punch. And you'll just be cutting these off like a tag corner. And I cut both sides, but I think this time I'm just going to cut one side. So here's my second one. And hopefully that gradation works out right with this one. Yeah, it's fine. I wish there was a little more different differentiation in there, but oh well, it's going to have to do. And this one I might go to a medium. So then Put my tags together, tabs together, not tags. You can use glue stick for this if you want. Come on, you've got to be able to move a little bit. <laughs> Get those lined up in the center. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, close enough. Here's one. Get this glued down a little. Okay, 
see there's two. Yeah, this would be a lot better if you could clearly, because I used three different colors there. These are blending a little more. I guess I should have chose a different page. And they don't have to be stacked. You can put some space between that stacking if you want. Okay, there's three. Okay. Now this is really the only tricky part. I have to find a way to glue this thing down here. It drives me crazy. So guess what? We have a bear. We have a bear, two bears in the neighborhood, a mother and a cub. Unbelievable for this late in the year. In this, you know, spring I could understand. And then we're going to tuck this in our envelope. You can go down as far as you want, but I am leaving it up so it looks like a tab. Let me fold that a little better so I don't see that white. Probably going to see it anyway. That's probably going to require some ink. Okay, so I would suggest putting your front in first. And I think I'm going to try putting the glue in here. Just because it might be easier to line it up and get it straight and centered. Okay, whoops, wrong side. I wanted you on the front. Okay, get that lined up. And I'll glue the back. Do a little repair right here. Oh, I'm sure you can see where this is going. Let me just see if I'd hide that. You know what? I'm just going to clip that off. We don't have to worry about it. That's cute. Okay, isn't that cute? So there's one. Where are we? 20 minutes. Okay. Then I'm going to quickly do the other one and <clears throat> I pretty much did the same thing. Oh, and then these little extra pieces. <clears throat> if I had a little place and I wanted to put a little extra tab somewhere else.
like that. That's what I did. If I have time, I'll do it similar to that and that. But here's another six by six, six by six piece. And what you're gonna do is make a score on each side at half an inch. half an inch and then you're going to fold this up to where you know that when you put your tab in there this white spot is going to be covered and then you're just going to either make another score or just fold it and then we are going to take um, I always forget which one is cut off. Yeah, the bottom one. The bottom one gets cut out. And then you can use that for a little, um, another little tab or decoration. Little fishtail, whatever you want. So we're going to cut these out okay and then these get folded in help them in and we can round all four corners or we can just round the two top ones. I think this time I'll round all four. Now these are Septeria style pockets here. And you can take a bunch of scraps and I have a few of these in my little basket here. Here's one. Here's two. You just make these little pockets all the live long day. Use up your scraps. Okay, I'm not going to glue that just yet. I'm going to assemble my next tab here. Okay, which one? This will do. Okay, so it's three. Oh, geez, you know what? I forgot this one's a little shorter or a little longer. I needed a longer piece. Yeah, because I don't want any white showing there, that's for sure. Okay, let me get a longer piece. I think I have a scrap here that'll work. Yeah, because I forgot this one's longer and I cut these all to match the other envelopes. So I just need enough for the first one. Where's my butterflies? That left. I 
Let me cut another one. I don't want that to not match, but it is what it is. And this is five inches. So all those were four inches, and I really needed five. So I need a five by three. get down to that end it doesn't cut. Okay, five. And that's going to be, I'm going this way. Yeah, I'm going this way because I don't want my butterflies upside down. Sorry about that. I measured four times and I should have. I made four of those sets of those and I should have only made three. Okay. That'll work. Get it in there. Maybe trim off a little more. It's a little tight. Let's go five and four and seven eighths. As long as we're under that half an inch, as long as we're under here, we're good. Okay. So now, two of my other pieces should work. Here's my two and a half. By four. That'll work. It's still staggered. And there's my one and a half by four. And I'm going to cut off half an inch. Okay. So, get these corners done. to the medium for this one. Okay, it's going to work because the paper is still brown. Let me get these together. Let me use glue stick and go faster. Okay. Get 
that nice and centered. Okay, so there's another layered tab. And then I'm going to cover up that number. you can put whatever kind of tabs you want on these. You can use your pre-made ones. But again, my goal was just to use up some of my paper pad papers. I could have cut that a little. Could have cut a little more off the length of that. So it would be a little more, little more of a border there. But that's okay. Now, as soon as I get the paper out of my cap, before we glue this, we're going to glue this in here. And again, I want to make sure I have it looking like a tab. So I'm going up a little bit. Get it centered. Don't move. glued in there. Flip it over. I forgot to glue the back of that. So these look cute backwards and front ways. If you want to keep it loose and Just have it tucked in something. It's still very pretty. Okay. So there's that. Jeez, my feet are falling asleep. Okay, isn't that cute? Looks like a little index card pocket. So I'll probably be taking pictures of just these two that are already finished. So then I just have to glue down this side. Glue down this side. And attach that to that. That's very cute. Let me find something halfway decent to put in there. There we go. Here's our little pocket. And here is our little envelope pocket. So I'm going to take. Oh, where are we? 35. I'm going to take these two little pieces. Maybe I'm going to add one here. Like this. That's super cute. Let it kind of out a little bit so you can tell it's a tab. And I could do the corners 
corners of this one as well, like a ticket corner, which some of them I did do that way. And then I think I'm going to put this little piece of music on this one to give that a little something and break up that brown a little bit. Keep the number. That way you use up all every little piece. Just keep making tabs on tabs on tabs. Okay, that's cute. Now do we have any more? Two little ones. Yeah. I could put another one down there, but that's not that's not very interesting. Although it does break up that flower. So maybe I will. And it doesn't matter if it's longer in the back either. Okay. Okay. Just broke up that flower a little bit. And put this one on here. have two more to make and so I can put them in a the photo it will be on the blog that way all my photos will match okay everyone so there you go that's how I made these little envelope pockets glue your Top flap inside to form a pocket. Use your extra pieces of paper to measure the width of your pocket. And you, well, actually, you can make your tab however you would like. But that's what I did. I took another coordinating piece and then just cut up little pieces, strips, to make my tabs. And then I assembled all my little pockets. Let me get a piece, better piece of paper here. Get these other ones out. To finish those. Show you this real quick. There's one. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Okay. And then there's the other one. And even the other one fits. Have another pocket in the back if you want, or just fill it up and tuck it in somewhere. Super cute. 
Okay, everyone. Thank you. I will see you at the regular time next time, and I am not sure what we'll be doing, but there's a new thing to do with tabs, pockets, pocket toppers. I guess that's what I'm going to call this, pocket toppers. Tab pocket toppers. Okay, thanks for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.